जब आए हो बाबा नब ने कहा बाप के कदमों से लिपट कर अब आए हो बाबा जब लुट गया परदेश में अम्मा का भरा घर अब आए हो बाबा एवरीबॉडी टुगेदर जैनब ने कहा बाप के कदमों से लिपट कर अब आए रे बाबा अगर नहीं था खाल की रिजा से उस वक्त न आए जब खाक पर दम तोड़ रहा था मेरा अकबर अब आए हो बाबा नब ने कहा बाप के कदमों से लिपट कर कट कट के गिरे नहर पे जब बाजुए आबास और कोई न था पास उस वक्त सदा आपको देता था दिलावर अब आए हो बाबा नब ने कहा बाप के कदमों से लिपट कर अरे जब फर्शे जमी बामो फलक लर्ज बजा थे उस वक्त कहा थे अरे जब बाप के चुल्लू में ताखून अली असगर अब आए हो बाबा नब ने कहा बाप के कद अब आए हो बाबा जब लोग बचा ले गए लाश शोहदा के हक अपना जता के अरे बस एक तने शबीर था पामाली की जद पर अब आए हो बाबा नब ने कहा बाप के कदमों से ली अरे जब बाली सकी ना के दोहर छीने गए थे लगते थे तमाचे हसरत से मुझे देखती थी बानो मुसर अब आए हो बाबा नब ने कहा बाप के कदमों से अब अरे क्या आपने फिर दो से ये देखा न होगा क्या हशर बपा था जब पुष्ट से बीमार के खेचा गया बेसर अब आए हो बाबा नब ने कहा बाप के कदमों से लिप अरे शाहिद रुखे है दर पर बिखर 
जाते थे आंसू जब खोल के गे चिल्लाती थी जैनब मेरे बाबा मेरी चाद अब आए हो बाबा जैनब ने कहा बाप के कदमों से लिपट कर अब आए हो मोहम्मद वाले मोहम्मद सलवार When Fatima came to Karbala, Zainab said, Do not look young at all. Go back, oh mother. They've killed my brother. Zainab said, Do not look young at all. When the night fell on the desert camp in a lonely white washed in morning. Then she looked and saw someone approaching, one who would join her in her grieving. She had come to see her progeny and what had become of their destiny. But she could not let her to go closer. She did not want her to really see. I do not want you to go further. You will only see pain and horror. Body with no head, seventy-two dead. Zainab said, do not look at her. When Fatima came to Karbala, Zainab said, do not look at her. Go back, oh mother, they've killed my brother. Zainab said, do not look at her. Before you were born, my loving daughter, I wash on this by your grandfather. He told me what was to be for my son, and how it would be a tragedy. My brother told me of this day as well, I knew what was to become of me. But even then I could not stand witness when I saw Shammer walking to him. My mother, you cannot bear to see what they did to his broken body. Arrow in his heart, liver ripped apart. Zainab said, do not look at her. When Fatima came to Karbala, Zainab said, do not look at her. Go back, oh mother, they've killed my brother. Zainab said, do not look at her. Nadir said, what?
Salawat. Jabeya de Sakina ko teriyati he baba sarjin taki diwara se takrati he baba jabeya de Sakina ko teriyati he baba kanu se tapakta Shano pedejo, zalem ki aziat, zalem ki aziat, mojetar pati he baba, chabeyad sakina ko, deyati he baba, daraba de yazidi me bala. Kese me jawo, ye cha ke gereban, ye cha ke gereban, haya aati he baba. Chabi aade sakina ko, teri aati he baba. Jalte huwe khemo khe nazar, khe nazar me. Ye baat khayalo se, ye baat khayalo se, kaha jati he baba, jabe yad sakina ko, teri yati he baba. Mar jaun ghi piasi na kabhi, mangu ghi paani, asghar ki mujhe piasi. Asghar ki mujhe piyas Joya aati hai baba Jab yaad hai shakina ko Teri aati hai baba Yaad aati hai jab shim rke wo Zulm e tasar do Ye nan se dukhtar Ye nan se dukhtar Teri ghabrati hai baba Jab yaad hai shakina ko Teri aati hai baba Jab tak teri sine se na laga Jaye shakina Zinda meri usneed Zinda meri usneed Kaha aati hai baba Jab yaad hai shakina ko Teri aati hai baba Salawat Bar Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad Salawat یہ مرسیہ ایک چیز زہر بھائی نے حکم دیا ہے تو انشاءاللہ اس کی حکم کی پورا کرنے کے لئے انشاءاللہ پڑھوں گا آپ کی اجازت ہے تو ضرور پڑھیں محمد الرحال محمد پر یہاں سنبھل کر قدم اٹھانا یہ کر سنبھل کر قدم اٹھانا یہ کر بھلا ہے یہ کر بھلا ہے یہ بات ہر گزے نہ بھول جانا یہ کر بھلا ہے یہ کر بھلا ہے یہ کر بھلا ہے یہ کر بھلا ہے دعائیں دیں گے ہو 
حسین تم کو یہاں پہ آسو اگر بہائے جہاں پہ بیٹی نے بے وطن کی ستم گروں سے تماش کھائے یہاں پہ خوشیوں کو بھول جانا یہ کئے بھلا گئے یہ کئے بھلا گئے یہ کئے بھلا گئے یہ کئے بھلا گئے اور یہاں پہ گزری ہے وہ قیامت ملا نہ اس کو سکون اب تک ردائے چھننے کے غم میں عابد لہد میں روتا ہے خون اب تک یہاں پہ ہرگز نامسکرانا یہ کئے بھلا گئے یہ کئے بھلا گئے مل کے پڑھئے یہ کئے بھلا گئے یہ کئے بھلا گئے یہ کر بھلا گئے یہ کئے بھلا گئے یہی پہ قاسم ہوئے ہے ٹکڑے یہی پہ زی سے گرے تھے مولا یہی سکینہ سمو سے لپٹی یہی پہ اسغے نے تیر کھایا یہی غریبی کا ہے ٹھکانا یہ کئے بھلا ہے یہ کئے بھلا ہے یہ کر بھلا ہے سواری آئے گی ایک وہاں سے نجف کی جانب نگاہ رکھنا جب آئے شام غریب اس دم اہلی کو زینب کا پرسہ دینا تم آسوں کے دیئے جلانا یہ کر بھلا ہے یہ کر بھلا ہے یہ کر بھلا ہے یہ کر اور کسی کے دل میں لگی ہے برچی کسی کے بازو کٹے یہی پر حیلی کی بیٹی کے کتنے یوسف لہو میں ڈوبے ہے اس زمین پر لٹا ہے سادات کا گھرانا یہ کر بھلا ہے یہ کر بھلا ہے یہ کر بھلا ہے یہ کر بھلا ہے اور لگے کہیں بھی جہاں میں جا کر حسین والے یہ جانتے ہیں ہمہل ماتم کے دل تکلم یہاں کی میٹی سے ہی بنے ہیں یہاں ہے واپس 
पलट के आना ये कर बला है ये कर बला है ये कर बला है ये कर बला है बर मोहम्मद व अली मोहम्मद सलावत Just to finish off with an English Marcia for the youth, inshallah. One more loud salawat ala Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. Can you bear to hear the story of an orphan child? Whose beloved father looked at her So tender and mild Now she lays all by herself Nobody there by her shrine Put your heads down let me take you to a different time take me away from this world and to heaven's door i want to be with you baba forevermore baba come back to me baba Baba, come back to me, Baba. Baba, come back to me, Baba. Baba, come back to me, Baba. How can I live in this world without you, Baba? Why did we come to this land? of Kaipobala. What does it mean, Baba? What does it mean when they say I'm an orphan now? They say the daughter of Hussein has no father now. What did I do? Where are you? Please come back, Baba. Don't leave me here in this place. Take me home, Baba. Baba, come back to me, Baba. Baba, come back to me, Baba. Come back and see what they did to your girl, Baba. They slapped my face and they burnt my little dress, Baba. They, they slapped my face and they burnt my little dress, Baba. They burnt our tents and they stole all of our things, Baba. They took my veil and they ripped my earrings, Baba. They beat my aunt and they chained my sajjad, Baba. They have no shame and no heart. They're so cruel, Baba. Baba, come back to me, Baba. Baba, come back to me, Baba. Amu Abbas will bring water from the banks of Furat. This is his word, and I know he won't break my heart. Where is he now, Baba? How can we stay apart? Why has he not returned? Where is my Amu Baba? If my Abbas was here, he would protect me, Baba. Where is his flag? Why doesn't it fly anymore, Baba? Baba, come back to me, Baba. 
Baba, come back to me, Baba. Baba, where is Elias? Where did you take him to? Baba, his lips were so dry, but he could not tell you. And yet he smiled as he went to the battlefield. Our mother's pain is so deep, it will never heal. She said they shot him through the neck. Why, oh why, Baba? What could a six-month little child do to them, Baba? Baba, come back to me, Baba. Baba, come back to me, Baba. All together. Baba, come back to me, Baba. Baba, come back to me, Baba. Bar Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad salawat. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The Ashura Day program in Niaz was sponsored for Isale Sawab of Marhuma Mumtaz by Jafar Abdul Hussain, Marhum Jafar Abdul Hussain, and Marhuma Fatma by Abdul Hussain. Suratul Mubarakatil Fatiha. Tonight's Surah Yasin, tonight's Surah Fatiha was recited for Isale Sawab of Marhuma Zera by Panjwani, all, mar all Marhumins of Panjwani and Ali by families, Marhum Hussain Ali Khan, Marhum Muhammad Mukaddam, Marhuma Gulbanu Murji Patel, Marhuma Anita Hussain Ali Mukaddam, Marhum Rajbali Abdul Hussain Nanji, Marhuma Gulbanu Fida Hussain Nanji, Marhuma Farida Rajbali Nanji, Marhuma Rukia Bai, Marhum Hassan Ali, ba Hassan Ali Bhai, Ladak and Daya family. Marhum Mahmoud Kanji and all Marhumins. Marhum Haidar, Marhum Haidar Ali Jawad Aziz. Marhuma Zainab Bhai Jawad Aziz. Marhum Roshan Jivraj. Marhum Jawad Aziz. Marhuma, Marhuma Amina Bhai Fazal Manji. Marhum Juma, Juma and Som Marhumins of Juma and Somji families. Suratul Mubarakatil Fatiha. Finally, let us please recite the ayah of Amma Yujibu for all those in need here and all over the world. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ali Muhammad. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Amma Yujibu. Amma Yujibu. Amma Yujibu. Amma yujibu al-muftarra iza Amma yujibu al-muftarra iza da'ahu wa yakshifu al-su Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad Sallu ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad Sallu ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad
اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان اللعین الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اِنَّا لِلَّهِ وَإِنَّا إِلَيْهِ رَاجِعُونَ رِضًا بِقَضَائِهِ وَتَسْلِيمًا لِأَمْرِهِ السلام على الحسین وعلى علی ابن الحسین وعلى اولاد الحسین وعلى اصحاب الحسین انا لله وانا الیہ راجعون you know my brothers and sisters when When there is a death in, in someone's family, you know, we would go to that house and we would go to them and we would offer our condolences to them. Tonight there were 18 members from the house of Fatima that were brutally killed in Karbala. <laughs> if we were to give condolences to Zainab, on whom would we give condolences to? Would we give condolences to her on the martyrdom of Abu al-Fadl al-Abbas? Or on the martyrdom of her children, Aun and Muhammad? Or on the martyrdom of her brother, of her brother Hussein? You know, the difficulties surrounding the musibah of Karbala have not come to an end by any means now. But the difficulties are about to continue and get even worse now. Whenever you look at any riwayah, whenever you look at any tradition that talks about the difficulties that were endured by the family, they will say that what happened after Karbala was far more worse than what happened in Karbala. For there was no himaya, there was no protection for them. Their sanctity and their haram was compromised. And for the Ahlul Bayt, alayhim as that was a'azam il musibah. That was even the worst trials and difficulties. You know, if you just to think about it, we are exhausted today. We don't even have the strength to cry right now. But imagine Zainab and what she has gone through today. <laughs> imagine Sajjad and what Sajjad has gone through today. Yet their difficulties are about to get even exponentially more worse. As the body of Aba Abdullah alayhi salam lay on the grounds of Karbala, it was not enough that they beheaded Aba Abdullah alayhi salam. But we are told that immediately after the death of Hussein, that they began to come and loot the body of Hussein. <laughs> cry for Zainab tonight. Muster the strength to cry for Zainab tonight. It is that they came, a person by the name of Ishaq bin Hayat, he came and he stole the shirt of the Imam. The Mal'oon Umar ibn Sa'ad came and stole the armor of the Imam. A man by the name of Uswad came and stole the shoes of the Imam. Wallahi, it's like it wasn't enough that they took the life of the Imam. Now they would come and take whatever that they could from the Imam. It is that one man came and took the sword of the Imam. A person by the name of Bajdal Al-Kalbi, he came, and when he came to the body of the Imam, he found that there was nothing left on the Imam. But then he noticed a ring that the Imam was with. Wow, He tried to remove the ring from the hand of the Imam, but it wouldn't come out. You know what the Mal'oon did? He cut the finger of Abba Abdullah. 
<laughs> he cut the finger of Abu Abdullah and took the ring of Imam al Hussein. But that wasn't enough for them. We are told Umar ibn Sa'd then says and asks his horsemen that who will come with horses to stampede on the bodies of those who have been killed. We are told one by one the families of the Shuhada came forward. There were those from the tribe of Bani Asad who were present there. And they said to Umar ibn Sa'd that we will not allow you to trample the body of Habib ibn Madahir. And so they removed the body of Habib ibn Madahir. The tribe of Hur was there. They said we would not allow you to trample on the body of Hur. So they removed the body of Hur. The maternal family of Abbas was there. They said we will not allow you to trample on the body of Abbas and his brothers. And so they removed the body of Abbas and his brothers. The maternal family of Ali Yunil Akbar was there. They said, we will not allow you. They removed the body of Ali Yunil Akbar. At the end, there was one body left on the bridge. <laughs> the one with the purest blood. The daughter of Fatima, the son of Fatima, the son of Ali, the son of Rasulullah, laid on the plains of Karbala as Shimmer and ten other horsemen trampled over the body. Qutaba <laughs> states that when Zainab heard this sound, she comes into the tent of Sajjad. She says, my son Sajjad, wake up. I am hearing a sound that I have not heard before. It is a cracking sound that I have not heard before. Sajjad opens his eyes. He says, Ammati, this is not any cracking. These are the ribs of my father cracking under the hooves of Wa Husayna, Wa Mazluma. It is said Sajjad alayhi salam with the help of Zainab comes to the khayma, the door of the khayma, the door of the tent. And as he lifts the door of the tent, he sees the head of his father on a spear. May no son have to see what he saw. He looks at the head of his father and sends his salam. As-salamu alayka ya abata. As-salamu alayka ya aba abdillah. Wa yabna rasulillah. But that, was the, that wasn't the end, huh? No. Look at how evil, evil these people were. That after Hussein had been trampled over, the next instruction that Umar ibn Sa'd gives is that go and burn the tents of the women of Hussein. <laughs> As if they hadn't lost everything yet. But before they came to burn the tent, you know what they did? They looted the tents of the haram of Rasulullah. They came and any prized possession that they could find, they would take. They even grabbed the head coverings of the women. Wa hijaba. Today we whine and complain about wearing hijab. On that day Zainab lost her hijab. They came and they took whatever possessions they could. We were told they saw one young girl. This girl had earrings on. You know what they did? They slapped this young girl and they snatched off her earrings. Wa Sakina. Wa Mazluma. But now that they had gathered their possessions, now we are told that they came and they began to burn the tents. I want you to again imagine. Take your mind's eye there. Take your heart there. They have lost everything today. <laughs> and now they are forced to even evacuate whatever temporary residence that they had. 
It is that Zainab took that responsibility of gathering the women and children. And as one tent was set on fire, they would go from one tent to another with the women and children, the children screaming, the women afraid. You know, there's a very love, there's a very heart-wrenching incident at the time of Imam al-Sadiq alayhi salam when the Mal'oon Mansur al-Dawaniqi wanted to punish the Imam. You know what he did? He set fire to the house of Imam as sadiq The companions say that Imam as sadiq came out of the house. He started to put out the fires. He said, Ana ibn Muhammadin al-Mustafa, Ana ibn Ali al-Murtada, Ana ibn Fatima al-Zahra. And then he put out the fire. The companion said that for two days we saw the Imam crying about this fire. We said to him, Ya Ibn Rasulillah, why this crying? This is not the first time that they burned down your house. Indeed, they burned down the house of Fatima prior. He says, Wallah, what you tell me is correct. This is not the first time. But he says that at that moment, when I was trying to put out the fire, the women and children in my house were set in panic at that time. They didn't know where to go. And at that time, Anatada, I remembered my aunt Zainab and what her condition must have been on the day of Ashura. Wah Husayna, Wah Husayna, my brothers and sisters. It is that Zainab rushed from one tent to another until there were no tents left to go. She comes to Imam as Sajjad, my son Sajjad, what should we do now? Should we stay here or should we go? Imam alayhi salam instructed, oh my aunt Zainab, life is more important. We must evacuate these tents. They came out of the tents. Wa hijaba, wa musibata. Ah, this wasn't the end still. Allahu Akbar. <laughs> Imagine what else they could have gone through, but they did. We are told as they were rushing out of the tents, Khutaba say that a little girl's dress was caught on fire. <laughs> as everyone was running from one place to the other, a man grabs this little girl. And he puts out that fire for her. The little girl looks at this man, surprised at the kindness of this man. She says to him, Ya Sheikh, you look like a kind man. She says to him, do you read the Quran? He says, yes. He says, have you read in the Quran, فَأَمَّلْ يَتِيمَ فَلَا تَقْهَرْ that as for the orphans, do not oppress them. He says, yes, I read that verse. She said, Ana yatim al-abab dillahi al -husayn. He said, Shaykh, have you read the verse of the Quran? Wa amma sa'ila fala tanar. As far as the questioner, do not turn them away. He said, yes, I have read that verse. The little girl said, then I have a question for you. Can you point me the direction to Kufa? He says, what will you do in Kufa? He said, my grandfather Ali is buried not too far from there. I want to go and complain to my Jaddi Ali and let him know what has happened to his family and what they have done to the haram of Rasulullah. Ah, oh. it is exhausting, the oppression of the Ahlul Bayt, my brothers. It is that night finally falls on the plains of Karbala. But wallahi, what kind of night must it have been? <laughs> They have nowhere to cover their heads with. They have nothing to cover their hair with. They have no water. They have no food. They have no men to protect them. It is that Zainab took that responsibility. Zainab gathered all the women and all the children. And then they began to make sure that everyone was there. They began to count. 
all of a sudden they find that there is one little girl who is missing. <laughs> Zainab begins to ask, where is that amanat that was given to me? <laughs> where is that trust that was given to me? She begins to ask everyone, have you seen Sakina? Have you seen Sakina anywhere? No one had found Sakina. She comes out of the de- she comes out to the Khaima, to the Katlaga. She goes to the body of Ali Yunil Akbar. Ya Ali, have you seen your sister Sakina? There was no jawab. She continues until a voice comes from a headless body. Oh Zainab, do not raise your voice. For my daughter Sakina has finally found fallen asleep. Imam Saki Zainab comes to the body of Abba Abdullah. She raises Sakina up. She carries her back. She said, Sakina, how did you know? How did you know that this was the body of your father? She says, Ya Amati, that when they slapped my face and when they stole my earrings, I ran out towards the battlefield, crying out for my father, Ya Bata, Ya Bata. And this body replied back, Bunaya, Bunaya, Ilaya. Come to me, my child. Come to me. Sakina narrates that when she was asleep on the chest of Abba Abdullah, Imam al Hussein said to her to give this message. She atima in sharab sharib tum maaz bin faz kuruni. Lo samaytum bi gharibin. O oh, shaheed in fandubuni, that oh my Shia, whenever you drink cold water, think of the thirst of Hussein. And whenever you hear about a stranger or a martyr, then lament for me. I am that grandson of Rasulullah that without any blame they killed me. What does Imam say? Imam says, Ah, I wish you would have seen my condition on the day of Ashura. (laughs) Wa Husayna. Wa Madluma. Zainab now brings Sakina back. We are not done, huh? You think the oppression is ended? It hasn't ended yet. We are told Zainab finally brings the women and the children all back together. And then Zainab alayhi salam notices that there is a light coming from the enemy's direction. Imagine the apprehension. Imagine the worriedness. Soon Zainab realizes that as this light is coming closer and closer, it is the wife of Hur who is coming to them. And the wife of Hur has finally brought some water for them. It is said that when Zainab met the wife of Hur, you know what Zainab does? The first thing that Zainab does is she gives condolences to the wife. <laughs> Look at the akhlaq of the Ahlul Bayt. We say to the wife of Hur that if you wanted to give condolences, to whom would you give condolences for? Was it Ali Yunil Akbar or Qasim or Auna Muhammad? Sakinab alayhi salam takes that water. She wakes up Sakina. It's my child Sakina. Wake up. Water has finally come. I wonder if Sakina responded. Has my chacha Abba? Has come back. Has Abbas come back? Now everyone has drank water, and now they can spend that night in that rest. Finally, Zainab alayhi salam says that I will take guard now. She grabs a broken spear from the plains of Karbala, and she begins her salatul layl for that night. Yeah. On the night of Ash, on the night of Shame Gariba, Zainab did not forget her Salatul Layl. 
You know, that is what Hussein said to her before he left. He said, Zainab, la tansini fi salatiki. Do not forget me in your prayers. Why? Because Hussein knew that Zainab would never abandon her salatul layl. And that is where Zainab kept guard that night. It could be, it could be that Zainab saw a dream when she fell asleep where a horseman was approaching towards them. Zainab alayhi salam stands with that spear. She says to that horseman, O oh horseman, we have gone through enough today. Please do not come any closer. If there is anything you want, you can come back tomorrow. But the horseman continues. We are told, she said to that horseman, do you know whose daughter I am? I am the daughter of Haydar Karrar. I am the daughter of the Lion of Allah. But the horseman continued. When the horseman came close, Zainab realizes who that horseman is. Zainab looks up and says to that horseman, Now you came, my father. You had every opportunity to come earlier when Ali Yunil Akbar called for help and Hussein could not find him. You could have come and helped him when Abbas's hands were cut and Hussein's back was broken. You could have come then when Hussein's body was being trampled. You could have come then when our hijabs were being removed. You could have come then. فَسَيَعْلَمُ الَّذِينَ ظَلَمُوا أَيَّمُونَ قَلَبِي يَنْقَلِبُونَ وَالْعَاقِبَةٌ لِلْمُتَّقِينَ إِنَّا لِلَّهِ وَإِنَّا إِلَيْهِ رَاجِعُونَ مَاتَمِ حُسَيْنِ Hey, she, you know, you know, you under be a bonus, a she a shab, shame hari bonus, dar karbala im shab, zari o afronas, ali akbar. Under be a bonus, a she a unim shab, shame hari bonus, a she a unim shab, shame hari bonus. Bow how late mahzoon, chunna shadar khun, bar shahid aun hao, har chashme giryaun as, ay shia yun im shab, shame gharibaun as, Ay shia yun im shab, shame gharibaun as. Shun zainab e mahzoon, badi day giryaw. Guft ay biradar jan, ma bi kaso yarim. Ay shia yun im shab, shame gharibaun as. Ay shia yun im shab, shame gharibaun. Khatme rasul ayat, ba jumla e hamraha. Az qatl e farzandesh giryanon alaunas 
زاکر در اون مجلس صدیقه کوب راست از داغ فرزندش و قلب سوزان است ای شیعه یونیم شب شام غریبان است ای شیعه یونیم شب شام غریبان است گوید که ای بابا کشتند حسینم را بینگر چی شد جسمش صد چاکوریان است ای شیعه یونیم شب شام غریبان است ای شیعه یونیم شب شام غریبان آل رسول ایم شب رو زمی خوابند زین العباد استب در آه و افغان است ای شیعه یونیم شب شام غریبان است ای شیعه یونیم شب شام غریبان است امشب سر پور خون در زیر خنجارا یا خانه خولی در خاک سوزان است ای شیعه یونیم شب شام غریبان است ای شیعه یونیم شب شام غریبان است جسم حسین اوریان اندر بیابان است ای شیعه یونیم شب شام Hallelujah. 
फैस घर ने जब तीर खाया गले पर हैरा था खुद का तिलों का भ्रश गए अस घर ने जब तीर खाया गले पर हैरा था खुद का तिलों का भी लश गए अब्बास के जब बाजू कटे थे खैमों में बच्चों को थी मौत आई लाशे पे जै नब रो कर पुकारी भैया हमारा कोई नहीं लाशे पे जैनब आखिरी बार बुलंद आवाज से लाशे पे जैनब रो कर पुकारी जजाकल्ला अबर मोहम्मद वाली मोहम्मद सलावत Brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum. Let's please recite Surah Fatiha for, for Marhum Ghulam Ali Banji and all the Marumins of Banji family, all Marumins of Haji Kimji family, Marhum Amasuma Nausha Jesa, all Marumins of Muhammad Hussain Shirali Jesa, all Marumins of M.R. Fazal. Surah Mubarakat al Fatiha. اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليك يا مولاي يا ابا عبد الله وعلى الارواح التي حلت بفنائك وانا خط برحلك عليكم مني جميعا سلام الله ابدا ما بقيت وبقي الليل والنهار ولا جعل الله اخر العهد مني لزيارتكم السلام على الحسين وعلى علي بن الحسين وعلى أولاد الحسين وعلى أصحاب الحسين وعلى أخيك الشهيد أبا الفضل العباس وأختك زينب وبنت مكلسوم وحان ابن عروة وحبيب ابن مظاهر والحر الشهيد الرياح السلام عليكم يا سادات وموالية جميعا ورحمة الله وبركاته السلام عليك يا مولاي يا غريب الغرباء السلطان أبا الحسن مولانا علي بن موسى الرضا كن شفيعنا وشفيع والدينا في يوم الجزاء وفقنا الله لزيارتك يا مولاي ورزقنا الله شفاعتك في الدنيا والآخرة والصلاة والسلام على آبائك الطاهرين وأبنائك المعصومين وعلى أختك فاطمة المعصومة جميعا ورحمة الله وبركاته السلام عليك يا مولاي حجة الله 